Good morning, students. Welcome you all in English class. Today we are going to learn the new topic, topic of grammar, voice. What is an active and a passive voice? This we are going to learn in this video. But before learning the voice, it is very essential to know what are tenses. What is a present tense and a past tense and what is present participle? Okay. So, let's learn voices through the activity. See, what is this? A glass of water. Look, what I do? I drink the water. So, drink is the present action. And the action is over. What I did? I drank the water. So, drank is past tense. And what happened to the things? The water is drunk. So, drink, drank, drunk. It is very important to know this three form of the words. Understood? See the next. What it is? It's a piece of paper. Okay? Now, what I will do? I tear the paper. Okay? So, tear is present tense. And the action is over. What I did? I tore the paper. Tore. And what happened to the paper? The paper is torn. So, torn is past participle. Understood? See the next. What I do? Write a letter to my mom. Okay? Write. Write is present action. The action is over. What I did? I wrote a letter to my mom. So, wrote is past tense. And what is being done? What has happened? The letter is written. So, written is past participle. Children, it is very important to know these three form of verbs. There are many verbs which we know and we know also their past and past participle form. Clear? So, let's know about what is an active and a passive voice. What is an active voice? Active noun voice where the subject performs the action and object receives the action. Okay. In active voice, subject, the doer of the action is performed the action. You can see this is structure. S plus V plus O. This is the structure of active voice where the doer is always active and where the doer of the action is important. Okay, where we focus more on the doer. Clear? <coughs> Tom waters the plants. Who is the subject to whom we are talking about? Tom. Tom is the doer of action. What he is performed? He waters the plants. So, waters is verb. It is in present tense. And who receives the action? 
is the object the plants okay so it is very important to understand what is subject and what is object and which tense is there in the sentence this is the structure of active voice okay next what is passive voice passive voice an action is performed on the object by the subject clear passive voice where the object is important we are more focusing on who has performed who has received the action and what is the action being done our main focus is on the object and the action that is passive voice so you can see this is structure object helping verb past participle by preposition and then subject the same sentence we will convert into passive voice for changing into passive voice we have to swap object to subject and subject to object okay so the plants are watered by tom here we are giving more stress on object who received the action and what is the action performed are watered and we are not giving much attention on subject clear so this is passive and active now the question is that when do we use passive voice and what is the need of passive voice so passive voice children we use in two situation when we don't know the subject at all who is the doer of the action look you can see the example my wallet was stolen next all the chocolates have been eaten these sentences are in passive voice because you don't know by whom clear yeah? so next when you want to give more stress to the action and you don't want to give much attention towards the doer of the action okay so as you can see the example solar plant will be built in our town by whom you don't want to know the road is being repaired by whom it's not important so in this two situation we use passive voice now see how do we change active sentences to passive form okay for that you have to follow the five steps number 1 always remember this five step while converting active to passive one first of all identify subject object and the main verb this is the first step number 2 swap subject to object and object to subject three convert the main verb into the third form there in passive voice we always use past participle clear next add proper helping verb before the past participle it is very important as per the tense you have to add helping verb before the third form of the verb next add preposition by before the subject clear so the structure is object helping verb past participle by preposition and subject this five steps you should always remember while converting into passive voice now student look at this table in this table you will see the structure of the tenses 
in active voice and in passive voice. See this. When your tense is simple present tense in active voice, the structure will be the verb will be in first form or you will add s es with it. You can see the example. He writes a letter. The doer of the action is he. What he performs? Writes. What the object received the action? Writes. Okay. So object is a letter. Understood? Next is how will you convert this sentence into passive voice? While converting, it is necessary to swap subject and object. Okay. So you have to take an is or are as per the subject. If the subject is singular, you will take is. If the subject is plural, you will take are. Okay. So a letter is your object. It will become subject and passive. A letter is written by him. Understood? Next. When the sentence is in present continuous stance, the structure is this. You can take the example. He is writing a letter. You will convert the subject object. What will come in passive voice first? A letter. A letter is and what you will add after is? Being because your sentence is in the continuous form. So after helping work, what should come? Being. It shows the action is on the process. A letter is being written by him. Understood? The next. When your sentence is in present perfect tense. Okay. So the structure will be like this. Take the same example in but convert into perfect tense, present perfect tense. He has written a letter. Convert into passive voice. What will be? A letter will become subject and after this has. Now the sentence is in perfect tense. So you will take after has helping verb after what should come? Be. A letter has been written by him. Next, when your sentence is in simple past tense, so in active voice, verb will be in the second form. He wrote a letter. Convert into passive voice. When the sentence in present past tense, you will take was or verb as per the number of subject okay and past participle a letter was written by him past continuous sentence in this structure will be was verb plus ing in the verb form he was writing the letter Convert into passive voice. First take object ahead. A letter. Same helping verb. Singular it is. So we will take was. Continuous form it is. We will take being. Then past participle written. A letter was being written by him. Next. Past perfect tense. When the sentence is in past perfect. So after subject. Verb, helping verb will be had. And perfect tense always have past participle, third form of the verb. He had written a letter. Change into passive voice. Take the object ahead, a letter. Had. It is perfect tense, then been. Past participle form, written by him. A letter had been written by him. Simple future tense. Shall or will plus be one. After the subject. Okay. Shall we use when the subject is first person. Okay. 
and will be used with the second and third person. So he will write a letter. Convert into passive voice. When the sentence is in future tense after shall will, you will add be plus past participle. <coughs> a letter will be written by him. Understood? Be we will use in case of models. As it is in future, so after shall will we are using be. But if there is other models like can, could, would, should. So the same structure will be followed. Next, future perfect tense. In active voice, shall have or will have plus v3. He will have written a letter. Convert into passive voice. Take a letter ahead as it is object in passive. So a letter will have been because it is perfect tense. Okay, been written by him. Understood? So these are the structure which we will remember while changing into passive voice. And student, there are other tenses like future continuous tense, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous. They are not being changed in passive voice. I hope you have understood the lesson very well. Remember all the concept while changing into passive voice and why the passive voice necessary. Where should we use it? Hope it's clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can make message to me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.